Welcome back, Bent. Nice show. Really, I hope you didn't raise expectations you can't measure up to. Hello, Duva. I'm sorry, I didn't want to show you up. If you're looking for Lissa, she's in the office lab. I'm sure you can find the way on your own. The algae you presented was bottom of the barrel. I think I deserve an explanation. You are wrong. The sample was from one of our most powerful cultures. I don't believe you. When I was still here, the algae could do much better than that. I think you are fooling yourself. The algae really wasn't that much stronger in the past. But it was stronger, and it would have convinced the investors without any effort on my part. If you say so. Again, what's wrong with the algae? Let's see. No one is interested in it. We can't find a selling market. Research is insanely expensive, and no one wants to pay for it anymore. But we do have a potential investor now. Only as long as your scam is not exposed. It won't be exposed if you tell me where the real algae is. The real algae? I see. I have no idea what you're talking about. I just want to know what happened to my algae. That's exactly the problem. It's not your algae anymore. Your son is responsible for your life's work now. It doesn't matter if anybody here likes it or not. You're out of the picture. Are you still angry with me? Of course I am. If you hadn't cared more about the planet than about your own family, we might still be one. Maida never told me that she was ill. How could she? You were never there. You didn't see the nosebleeds when they began. You didn't catch her when she fainted. You didn't even take her to the hospital when it was already too late. If she'd only told me. But she didn't, because she thought you'd notice it someday. Well, no such luck. Duva, I'm sorry. Good to know. Anything else? So, how's life as the head of research on Atlas 11? How do you think it is? It makes me sick. I still can't believe that I wanted to be like you once. You have a lot of responsibility now. The future of the world depends on you and your research. The future of the world is not my future. I don't want to end up like you, Father. I want to have a life, a family, but I'm stuck here instead. Do you really hate your life this much? Well, c'est la vie. That's how it is. See you later. It's a bit loose. Why doesn't anybody see to it the thing doesn't fall to pieces? There. Much better. tried to startle me that incompetently in the last two years. Hello, Bent. It's good to see you. I thought I'd drop by to see if everything is well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, what? Isn't an old retiree allowed to visit his former colleagues? Of course he is. But I know you well enough to know that this is not the only reason. But maybe you'll prove me wrong. What happened to the algae? What are you talking about? I saw the presentation for the investors. The algae you presented was terribly weak. Oh, Ben, you are exaggerating. Do you have any idea how embarrassed I was? I can understand how you feel, but... <sighs> please stay out of this. But... Trust me, it's better this way. 
Lissa, what's going on here? You are keeping something from me. Bent, please. We've already discussed this. The current situation is no one's fault. We've just fallen on hard times. I'll find out what's going on. Please, don't. I'm just worried about you. Let's talk about something else. I'd prefer that, yes. Duva hates me. I know. He still blames you for Meta's death. And he's right. She was sick, Bent, and she didn't tell you. Because she knew I would never give up my work for her. Quite the opposite. You would have given up everything for her, and she didn't want to be responsible for that. The tendency for self-sacrifice must be a family trait. How is Duva? Ask him yourself. Whenever I try to talk to him, all he does is rant. Oh, don't listen to that. I think he's much better than he wants people to know. He hates life on the oil rig. If he really hated it, he would be long gone. Don't worry. He's doing okay. I can see you were busy. Do you want to continue our conversation later? The only important thing is that we do continue it. Why don't we meet in the kitchen later and cook together? In about two hours when my shift ends? Sure. Great idea. Good. I'm looking forward to it. This lab coat looks familiar. Ha! I knew it! It's my old lab coat. Huh? The one in the locker? I didn't think you'd keep it. Are you getting sentimental? Duva is wearing it sometimes when he's cleaning up. <laughs> Hmm, what's this? One of my old algae samples. What's it doing here? It's barely legible, but there's something written in my hand. D54H. D54, that's the Delta algae, our most powerful culture. I just don't understand why Duva didn't present it earlier today. the Delta algae. Nothing. That's weird. Let's see. Where is the file for D54H? A, B, D, 32, B15? And here's A again. What a mess. Huh. Looks like this will take longer than I thought. Damn it. I searched the whole cabinet three times and still no sign of D54H. So where the devil is it? I should pump the water out first. Water pumped out, ready to unload. Is that towel really golden? How tacky. Hotel La Comte du Roy, Barcelona. Five stars. Good grief. How did this get here? No one here can afford to stay at a five-star hotel. Duva, I... what? Where is the file on the Delta algae? It should be in the cabinet. If it isn't, I have no idea. And what happened to the Delta algae itself? I guess that's in the file. Too bad it's gone missing. I don't understand. Where did you get the money for such an expensive hotel? That's none of your damn business. I thought you didn't have any money. And yet, you are traveling to a five-star hotel in Barcelona? That's my private life, do you hear me? It's no concern of yours. So why don't you get lost and never come back? Lissa? Yes? Have you seen the Delta Algae file? 
What? You haven't been here for 10 minutes and already you're going through the paperwork. Do you have the file or not? No, and I suggest you stop searching for it. Just trust me. It's for your own good. So long. See you later, Bent. Is the intercom still working? Yes, but you still can't make a continental call. Who do you want to call? You'll see. Barney speaking. It's me, Bent. Ah, <laughs> perfect timing, old warhorse. I wanted to know how long you're going to stay with us. I don't know, yet. No problem. But notify me on time so I can organize transport and accommodation on land. You just tell me where you want to go, and it will be done. Thanks, Barney. About my return trip. Please make a reservation at a hotel for me. I take it you want to go to the conference Faye mentioned. I can recommend the Grand Welcome Inn in downtown Oslo. Or the Garden City Hotel near the Botanical Garden. Please make a reservation at the Hotel Le Comte du Roy in Barcelona. Are you sure about that? Of course. I have a secret weakness for decadent five-star hotels. That's not what I meant. The Du Roy is a very special hotel. Is it a brothel? <laughs> no. It specializes in male guests, but it's not a brothel. Let's just say that most workers on this rig won't like it there. But Duva liked it there. I don't want to get involved in this. Have Duva explain it to you, or find out for yourself. Can I help you with anything else? So long. Okay. See you later. Hey, Alyssa. It's not me! It's Bent! Oh, Dr. Svensson. Good to hear you. What can I do for you? I want you to page someone. Who? Page my son. And what do you want me to tell him? Tell him he should come to the radio room. The radio room? Why? Because you have a message for him? I do. Yes. Tell him... His friend called. All right. How did you find out Duva is gay? Oh, Ben, don't look at me like that. You two can't even agree on the weather. Why would he tell you about his sexual orientation? But I would have been fine with it. Do I really know nothing about my own son? Oh, he's on his way. What do you want me to tell him when he gets here? Tell him his father misses him. Oh, okay. I hope he won't get angry. Oh, but he will. I don't like to do this, but I don't have a choice. Aha, if that isn't the lost file. Hmm, that's strange. The data collection ended on February 20th this year. They either recorded later value somewhere else, or they abandoned research on the D45H project. That doesn't make any sense, though. Why would they discard our best algae? on February 20th. Why did you stop working on the Delta LG? Bent, you don't want to know. Two years ago, I almost worked myself to death on the Delta LG culture. Of course I want to know. There was an accident. An accident? Yes. A fire broke out in the algae station. It destroyed the whole culture. What about the samples? You did take samples before it happened, didn't you? No, there was a mistake. I thought Duba was responsible for taking samples that day, and he thought I was. It was a stupid misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Where are you going? Hmm. I 
I don't want to imply anything, but something's wrong here, and I won't rest until I know exactly what it is. Why don't you listen to me? It was an accident. <sighs> Sadi, come in, please. Ben says the investors are convinced. You must have been wrong. <coughs> no, Faye. I wasn't wrong. The algae is too weak. It won't save the world. But it even convinced the investors. You didn't see what I saw, Faye. I can't believe in it anymore. <coughs> we made a really big mistake. What happened, Sadi? I hardly recognize you. What do you think happened? I'm stuck in a time I don't understand. My friends are dead. And I'm alone. <coughs> I have a lot of time to think. Why are you coughing so much? No idea. It's been getting worse for days now. But it's okay. Everybody dies sooner or later. Oh, God, don't say something like that. Get your medikit and do a scan. Maybe you just have a cold. Maybe. What do you mean? We made a mistake? I'm talking about the Phoenix Plan. But the Phoenix Plan is great. We're saving the world from doom. Delvin says you killed a survivor in San Francisco. That... that was Salvador. And you stormed a building in Oslo. You took hostages. I had to. I had to make them listen to us. Wherever we go, Faye, we bring suffering. Or was there anything you achieved without using violence? I convinced Ben to help me. Hmm. Why do you doubt our algae? Because it isn't our algae. I found some articles in an archive. Norwegian algae research discontinued. Millions spent on useless research. Bent Svensson's algae was so weak, even scientists didn't believe in it anymore. But I don't understand. Ben Svensson. THE Svensson. I even met Barney. And the doctor. They all believe in Bent and his research. Accept it, Faye. Bent Svensson is a failure. Don't get his hopes up. That's not making any sense. You must be wrong. Faye, please. You must listen to me. <coughs> Since we went on this mission, we've only brought death to the people. It's like a curse. Everybody dies. <coughs> Stop believing in the algae and get away from the rig, or Bent Svensson will d die Saudi, please. If you are my friend, you have to trust me. The algae is powerful enough, and Ben Svensson is our savior. And he will die too. Sadi? Sadi? Sadi! Oh no! What's wrong now? Oh no! The antenna cable got loose! Ah, fresh sea air. Isn't it wonderful? You get used to it after a while. Let me tell you, enjoy it while you still can. As of tomorrow, you'll be a long way from here, a made man. In Rio or New York, personally, I prefer Casablanca. I don't care, as long as I get away from here. I'm sick of risking my life for this Svensson every day. Last week, a machine almost ripped my arm out. <laughs> These things happen, but today, you are going to hurt the oil rig right back. Okay, one more time, so you won't forget. The algae must be completely destroyed or my client won't pay. Do you really want to talk about this out here in the open? No, of course not. I just have to get rid of something first. Oh my god, what are these people planning?
It's always the same. I can't be that clumsy. Yikes! It's a used tissue. Kellerman and partner, attorneys. You are supposed to rest. Instead, you're climbing up and down the facade. Once and for all, I'm fine. Bah, stubborn as a mule. Excuse me? I said do whatever you want. Take a look around the oil rig. Climb pipes, jump out of windows. But don't come running to me if you start getting worse. Not a chance. That's settled then. If I want to find the saboteur, I have to get to the workers' area. I hope there are signs showing the way. The presentation takes place in the residential area. Excuse me? The presentation. You are one of the investors, aren't you? Um, no. The presentation has been over for a while now. Really? Man, time flies. What are you doing? Working. And what? I'm a welder. I weld. I don't see you welding anything. Okay. Yeah. Not right now. But that doesn't mean I'm lazy. Quite the opposite. I'm a very eager worker. Passion is the fertile soil on which good work grows. Uh, right now, I'm just not very passionate. Why aren't you passionate about your work right now? It's got a lot to do with atmosphere and a productive work environment. If I want to create something, I must be filled with inspiration. I have to feel the energies around me, the passion of creation. And you don't feel that right now? No. Right now, I'm feeling something completely different. I feel melancholy. Streets on a rainy day. Broken hearts in the neon light. Oh dear, that doesn't sound positive. Well, that's life. When do you think you will be passionate about work again? What do you mean, when? It's not something you can plan for or force. You have to wait until the environment feels right, the climate, the creative spirit in the room. And where does that feeling come from? If I knew that, I wouldn't just be standing around. Have fun. Yeah, all in good time. Good day. Hello. I have an important question about a worker. Ask. Why doesn't the man in the machine room work? Don't let appearances mislead you. Magnus is one of my best welders. He's just a bit difficult when he has to work alone. But his colleague had the night shift today, so he's packed up already and has gone to the cafeteria to grab a bite to eat. I'll be back later. Don't worry. I'll be right here. Hello. Hi. Do you know the welder in the engine room? Magnus? Sure. He's a wimp, but works like a robot. Really? Yeah, I know. The others are complaining all the time, too. Can't work with Magnus. Damned freak. Me? I just say you only gotta know how to take him. You can put dynamite in his ears. He wouldn't care. And why's that? I know how to party. <laughs> How do you get the welder to work? By party. That stops him brooding. Are you telling male jokes? That too. And me locker is full of party hits. There's some for everyone, even Magnus. 
Could you give me the key to your locker? Lady, me locker's no one's business but mine. You can beg as you want. You'll not get it. Bye. Ciao. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for a bald man. Do you know him? A one of the suits? I think so. Don't want anything to do with them types. So you don't have anything to do with the investors? You haven't even talked to them? About what? Weather? Bad enough they decide who works and who don't. I'm not gonna play happy people and suck up to them. They better just give us the money and bug it off. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Don't you have to work today? Been working all night. Enough's enough. Just hoping that no Einstein will get no idea to make me do his shift. He won't see tomorrow. I tell you, when I get mad, I'm mad like hell. Is that a threat? No, oh, it's a law of physics. Bye. Ciao. It's me again. I can see that. Someone's planned an attack on the oil rig, and one of the workers is going to carry it out. How do you know that? I was at the heliport when I overheard a conversation. Some bald guy gave instructions to a worker. Hmm. Hmm? Just a sec, I'm thinking. Did the worker wear an eye patch? I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. You just made up that story. You want me to evacuate the oil rig so you can take over here. No! That's not true! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to bring me evidence before I believe your story. The welder doesn't like to work alone? Sometimes he is a mystery to me, too. Why don't you go to the cafeteria and ask his colleague about it? Maybe he knows the secret. I'll be back later. Don't worry. I'll be right here. Someone sewed on a piece of cloth with a name on it. Apollo Langlo. I'll strike out Ira Harkonnen and put in the name Apollo Langlo instead. I wonder if that will work. I just have to put the facsimile in the machine, hit the key for the radio room, and that's it. Apollo Langlo, please proceed to the storage depot. I repeat, Apollo Langlo, please proceed to the storage depot immediately. I think I have what I wanted. There's only these keys in there. I better take them.
Will that help you to work? Put the tape in the ghetto blaster, will you? Eureka! That's it! Yeah! Something is swimming in that chamber, but I can't make out what it is. The filter is blocked by a scrap of cloth. This looks like the sleeve of a worker's uniform. There are two initials, M and S. I found this ripped off sleeve. I see. So? The suspect said something about an accident. A machine almost ripped his arm out. Go on. Isn't that enough? Someone wants to destroy the algae research and you sit on your arse and twiddle your thumbs. Ah, that's how the land lies. But, but I was talking about it the whole time. You never mentioned the algae research. That casts a whole new light on the case. Elementary, my dear. An evil energy mogul got scared. Svensson's Miracle Algae pushes onto the market and threatens to put all the power plants in the world out of business. So what's he gonna do about it? He plants a bomb to destroy the whole research on the algae. Well, finally. Now you understand. Oh, come on. You're not serious, are you? The algae may be nice, but it's miles away from convincing anyone. It did convince the investors. Because Ben Svensson manipulated the presentation. He did what? Now I'm directly above the Delta LG station. Let's see how this accident happened. I think I can make out something at the other end of the pipe, but it's too far away for me to reach. I wonder if this will work as well as the bottle opener. Let's just try it. A bottle cap. Hmm. Just a second. The right sleeve smells just like the bottle cap from the algae farm. But I have to do some more tests before I can be sure. I'll cut some cork out of the filter. Okay, my old lab coat is ready for analysis. Okay, let's go. Aha, the instrument found fire accelerant. The question is, is it the same one like the one in the algae tube? And how can I find that out?
Now I'm really curious. That's it. The fire accelerant on the burn tube is the same one as the one on the sleeve. What did Lissa say about Duva sometimes wearing the lab coat? Are you still wandering around the place? How did you manage to survive without your precious algae all those years? Duva, enough! I'm free to do that. So I will, if your own father is snooping around your private business and embarrasses you in front of Norway's greatest tattletale, you are free to do that. What do you want from me anyway? I want to talk to you. About what? About me being gay? Is that it? Or do you only want to talk about... Yes, I want to talk to you about the algae. I knew it. What else could it be? You hate the algae. You could say so. Was that why you sabotaged the research? Bent, that's enough. Let him say it, Lissa. I think this is going to be interesting. What did you find out? I know you want to get away from here really bad. I know that our best algae culture was destroyed two weeks ago, right before the talks with the investors began. And I know it wasn't an accident. It was an accident. No, it wasn't. I found fire accelerant in the algae station. The fire was intentional. And you think it was me? I found the same substance on my old lab coat, the one Duva is wearing from time to time. Go on. Did you set the fire? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Your mother would turn in her grave. You two stop it right now. None of this is true. No. <laughs> that's... That's why it's so... <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> It's... it's not true. It, it really was just an accident. And you think I... <laughs> What's this game you are playing? Bent, he's right. The fire accelerant was ethyl alcohol. We cleaned the station with it after the fire. <laughs> I'm just like you. I never think of myself. Never. I hate my work here, but still I hang on to it. I think that's over now. Please leave us for a moment, Bent. I'll talk to him. Faye, let's get out of here. I was wrong. There isn't a conspiracy. But there is! Someone placed a bomb on the H2 tower. What? How? We don't have much time. Follow me! God, you were right. Don't stand around gawking. Get that guy. I will find a way to deactivate this infernal bomb somehow. I'll get him. Cool, Bent. Hmm. No wires for me to cut, but the saboteur scratched some numbers on it. Maybe I can interrupt the ignition process if I bypass the bomb's contacts until the digital numbers match the numbers he scratched on. It's a bit risky, but I don't really have another choice.
damn it! Let go already! Let me climb back up. Then I'll give you a hand. Are you nuts? Damn it! What are you doing? Saving both of us. Ugh. Now you. Fields. The algae fields are burning. <laughs>